Today's video will show you the best NVIDIA control panel settings for Warzone to achieve the highest amount of FPS. And I will also be showing you what you can do in your GeForce Experience feature to achieve the highest amount of FPS. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card in your PC, then you have the ability to fine tune how the game performs and even how your game looks. Graphic intensive games like Warzone require you to fine tune your graphics card in order to achieve the highest frames possible. If you're still struggling to find the best in-game settings, then check out my recent video on the best graphics settings updated for 2022. Okay, so you're at your desktop and you want to pull up the nvidia control panel but you don't know how to do that all you have to do is you have to right click on the desktop and then it'll pop up with the menu that shows nvidia control oh. panel if you do not have that setting on the drop down menu chances are you're on windows 11 if you're on windows 11 don't even sweat it at all just go to the microsoft app store and go ahead and download that app it's going to take two seconds to download anyhow once it's done downloading just hit open it should bring up the same menu that we have now so when you have your menu open the very first setting we're going to be looking at is adjust image settings with preview and right off the bat you can notice that there is a slider that says performance on one side and quality on the other this will hinder your fps so pay attention if you have an older graphics card probably i'm gonna say maybe 2060 and lower and you're probably gonna want to go towards the performance side now this is a free type of slider so you can slide this however you know however much to each side and so you can tinker this and see how it hinders your fps for your system however if you don't care about how ugly the game looks on performance you're gonna want to slam that slider towards performance but if you have a higher ended graphics card like the 3060 the 3080 3090 you can either you know keep this slider in the middle that way you can get a good happy medium or you can you know just totally crank it up to quality and get the highest amount of pixels on your screen the graphics card that i have in my pc is a 3080 ti and so i'm gonna want to have my setting on quality Okay, and so the next tab we're going to be looking at is the manage 3D settings. And so I'm going to run through all the most important settings. I don't think it's necessary to go through all the settings. Just just know that most of the other settings that we're going to be talking about, other than the ones I'm going to be explaining, it's just going to be default or whatever your default cards are. If you just start messing with it, it's just actually going to hurt your card and it's not going to perform too well. So let's go ahead and look at some of the most important settings. And the first most important setting is going to be image sharpening. You're going to want that off. The next one is going to be CUDA. It's going to say all. You're going to want that on all. Basically, it just tells you how, how many cores in your GPU you're going to want to use. DSR factors, that's going to be off. Low latency mode. Now, this is something you're going to have to play with. I have mine on off. I found that for my system, off actually gives me the most amount of FPS. There are arguments and there are other things that other videos that people say that it gives you, you know, more FPS on other settings, but go ahead and try this out for yourself. And then you'll be able to see which one gives you the most amount of FPS. Monitor technology, you're gonna want that on G-Sync. If you don't have this setting, chances are you don't have a G-Sync monitor. G-Sync is pretty much something that fights screen tearing. So it works with your graphics card to make your game just a bit smoother. The next setting is going to be power management mode. And so with the power management mode, you're gonna want prefer maximum performance. You're not gonna to wanna to use anything else, trust me. This is the best setting possible. Okay, so the next two settings are gonna be threaded optimization. You're gonna want that on auto. And then tri triple buffering is gonna be off. Okay, so let's say you want to set specific settings for certain applications such as Warzone and to do that You're gonna to want to click on the program settings tab You're gonna to want to click on the drop down menu and you're gonna to want to select Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 And if you notice all of these settings are pretty much going to be what we just configured and if you don't want to play with any of those settings, it's fine because these are all pretty much the same. And so as you can see here, it says use global settings. So it's pretty much going to listen what we have set globally. If you only play Warzone, that's fine. You don't really have to mess with any of these settings. This is only if you want to test out certain settings or let's say you wanted to move to Apex Legends and you want your graphics card to perform differently there. So you can just, you know, select Apex Legends and you can, you know, set your specific setting that you want changed for that specific app. Okay, so next, it doesn't really hurt to check up on your resolution. Make sure your resolution is native resolution. Currently, I'm playing in 1440p, so I have mine set to 2560 by 1440, and I have a 240 hertz monitor. The next thing you're gonna wanna check up for your monitor is G-Sync. If you don't have G-Sync, again, you won't have this setting, but it's good to see if you have it still enabled. Okay, so for the video tab, I pretty much have everything just default. You can play with pretty much anything here. You can just move the sliders. I have mine on default, whether that be gamma or advanced i have that on default and also the setting right beneath it the video image settings i have this on default the default setting is use the video player setting so that just about sums it up for the control panel now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the geforce experience tab and what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of this and we're going to click alt z it's going to bring up a menu and we're going to click on performance now as you can see here you're going to have all these different metrics based on what kind of graphics card you have and so it's going to show you how it's performing right now and underneath here you're going to be able to see enable automatic tuning now 
I have mixed results with this setting. Basically what it does is Nvidia likes to overclock it for you. And overclocking means just pretty much, you know, pushing as much power as possible for your graphics card. Depending on what graphics card model you have, this will benefit you. You're gonna have to wanna play with this. With this setting, you can probably gain maybe 10 to 15 extra FPS. However, your game might be unstable. And so all these other settings underneath the voltage maximum, these are like the manual settings you can set. You can set uh, what the voltage maximum is. You can set what the power maximum is. You can also set what the temperature target is and the fan speed, I'll leave that on automatic unless you want your PC to sound like a Boeing 747. So that just about concludes this video i really do hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video if you know someone who's having issues with their graphics card and their control panel send this video to them and i will see you guys in the next video